So Ronnie O'Sullivan led 5-1, he led 5-2, he now leads 5-3, he still needs one to reach the final. Bingham on the comeback trail. It's a great pot, he's a little high on the black, so this is a big shot coming up, he split the reds, he's got to pot this black. It's in, it's not in, oh the crowds were starting to cheer, it looked in. But it stayed out. He knew what an important shot it was. So over to you, Stuart. Well. Six. Eleven. Well, all of a sudden, this match is getting interesting, especially if Stuart can make it 5 4. <coughs> this looked unlikely when it went 5 1 because of how it went 5 1. You know, Sullivan got the snooker needed and, as I said, bullied the balls into the pockets to win that sixth frame. But it says a lot about Bingham's attitude. You know, he's such a positive individual and he's brought that to the fore here. Hasn't let his head drop. He knows this is a good chance for 5 4. It wasn't an easy black he missed, he only just missed it. A lot of people here thought it was in, but it wasn't. 34. 39. He's lost the white there. He's definitely lost the white. He's snookered himself on the intended red. 45, thank you. Uh, just look at those two reds near the pink spot. I wonder if the left on one goes. If it doesn't, that's a poor shot. It doesn't go. That's a terrible shot. Could have played anything but that. Didn't really get the stun into the cue ball. 
Well, that's ambitious, but well, you will be playing with an element of safety. He's looking to try and continue the break here. Can stay at the table. Look at the distance between those two. Unlucky. 45. He knew that he was taking the cue ball away from them. Tell you what, if they caught the knuckle there and to come back towards the Reds, that might have been end of frame and match. But still a, a shot to nothing on here for Ronnie. Nope. He's played that with a little bit of check side to avoid everything else. Didn't want to see that red go to the side cushion. Oh dear. What has he done here? Well, second big mistake from Bingham. Firstly, running out of position. Now he's left O'Sullivan with a chance to win the match. Well, so there are some awkward reds, but we saw the clearance he made against Selby the other day. If anyone can do it, it's this man. Well, top draw, wasn't it? And he's brought another red into play. Just got that one on the side cushion to worry about now because the other two are slightly off the cushions. Eight. Pretty easy for this man. Nine. This is the beginning of the end for the world champion in this year's Masters. <laughs> yep, there you go. A great snooker brain on it. It's always looking to develop things. Shots like that bring him into the open. Give himself a chance to win the frame and the match. Well, the only saving grace here for Stewart is that red on the left hand cushion. He's ever hit that. 23. The pink might go actually. Could still play the blue. Don't go behind the pink. That needs to travel. It needs to travel. And he's not got there. Well, anywhere there. But there. He could have played that down the right hand side of the table. This is no gimme. Well, I'm very, very surprised the way Ronnie played the blue there. All he had to do was play it playing ball, come down the right hand side, and then perhaps he could have nudged the red off the cushion. Who am I to criticise this guy? But. Uh, cool. Ronnie O'Sullivan, but I don't know. He could have easy. He, he could have taken all of that out really if he'd just come down the right hand side. Well, Bingham will need the safe red, so this is by no means a uh, guaranteed Bingham frame. But I bet he's happy just to be back at the table. Indeed. Now, which way will he tackle that final red, though? From which colour? I think uh, possibly the black. I'm not sure that he can get to that red once this black is respotted. I think it's uh, that's not on actually, and he can't stay the right side of the black, so might have to find something else. Nine. Well, unless he goes around the table, he's only going to leave himself a double or play a safety. Mm. This could be a big double coming up. 
16. 32 the lead. It's frame ball. Nope. 16, Stuart Bingham. Well, he's left it. I could see Ronnie take this on. He's 32 behind and he can hold for the blue. Blue would be enough. If he can see this, I think he'll take it on. Oh, dear me. Dear me. I mean, you know, again, it's one of those, isn't it? Deserves to win the frame and match. Stuart knew straight away once he'd left that, but just look at that. Well, it made the blackie potted in that sixth frame look like it was over the hole. Incredible. Well, somebody just shouted from the crowd, genius. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't disagree with that. Six. I mean, he's been shut out for some time, David, and just to, to come up with that one. Be interested to see what Ronnie O'Sullivan makes of it. He hasn't looked necessarily in the best of spirits all evening, but these colours, and he'll be in the final. A chance to entertain everybody tomorrow. And I can't see him missing from here. Fifteen. Well, not absolutely ideal. It's done off the cushion, no problem. Well, he remains the game's great enigma and he remains the man to beat. And Stuart Bingham has not beaten him this evening. What a way to win it. What about the ready knocked in? Fantastic. I don't think he feels he was at his best all evening, but he's in the final of the...